Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. In the previous tutorial, I left you with a little bit of homework to finish off your JPEG files, so let's see where we all left off. So, in Photoshop, we still have our little um, template, which we are going to use for any new image that we import into this slideshow. And then we have our taggers with our title and description. We have our leopard with the title and description that I made. So I just said snow leopard. In this picture, we see a snow leopard. He's a badass and he is very cold. So you can put whatever description you want. It really doesn't matter. So then we have cheetah with the title and description and we have lion with the title and description. So if you have a title and description for all of your JPEG files and you have them all saved in your default images folder, then you are ready to follow along with me and we can go into the next steps. So the next step is in Flash. So let's open up Flash. Once you have Flash open, if you're in the Essentials workspace, then it will look like mine. So what we're going to do, let's go File, New, and let's make our width 500, make our pixels 375, and let's change our Action Script to 2. So if you're in Action Script 3, come down to 2. So make sure 500 and 375. Action Script 2, and click OK. So now what we are going to do is we are going to import those four images into our library. So let's go File, Import, Import to Library. So highlight Cheetah, Leopard, Lion, and Tigers. If you don't know how I highlight it like that, just hit Command or Control and you will be able to highlight like that. Do not highlight template.psd and click Open. So now in your library, you will see you have Cheetah, Leopard, Lion, and Tigers. So, now what you want to do is the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is save this. So go File, Save As, and go to wherever your default images folder is and type Home underscore Flash. So this is basically just going to be the Flash file for our home page. And then just click on Save. And now you have your file saved. I didn't want to get into actually making the fading images slideshow in this tutorial because it's going to take a pretty long time. So I wanted to have a nice amount of time for us to make that. So you will get into it in the next tutorial. I promise we will be dragging these things in. We will be manipulating this timeline. So stay tuned. I'm so glad that you have made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. So uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial.